In this video, we'll examine the concept of spinning and take a closer look at the spinning tools that come with Article Samurai. Whether you write your article from scratch in the article editor or copy and paste your content from a word processor, it's important to always save a copy of your original article before you spin it. The main reason you should always save the original is because spinning with Content Boss changes your article by introducing numerous spin blocks into the article text. A good way to understand the way spinning works is to take a look at an article before spinning, which looks like this, and then look at the same article after it has been spun. As you can see, spinning the article with Content Boss has led to a number of words and phrases being highlighted in light brown. Each highlighted word represents a spin block. Each spin block contains a number of variations for the original word or phrase. So in this example, the original phrase not sure has been replaced by a spin block containing the variations unsure, undecided and not sure. And over here, the original word lessons has been replaced by a spin block containing the variations tuition, classes and lessons. Now in the navigation panel on the left, you have access to these spin shortcut keys. The best way to think of these keys is that they give you a way to quickly check the different variations within all of the spin blocks. So when I click on the first spin shortcut key, my article is displayed showing the first variation in each of the spin blocks. If I click the second spin shortcut key, my article is displayed showing the second variation in each spin block. And if I click the third spin shortcut key, my article is displayed showing the third variation in each spin block. If a spin block does not contain a third variation, then it is highlighted in red to indicate that the spin block is not currently full. It's important to understand that this is still a single article and that these keys just give me access to three different views of that article. So if I change text that is not contained in a spin block, that text will be changed in my article regardless of which view I'm looking at. Remember, these keys just allow me to see the different variations within the spin blocks. All the other text is common to all three views. This also means that making changes to the unspun text of my article will not change the uniqueness of my article. The only ways to increase the uniqueness of your article is to add new spin blocks or add additional variations into spin blocks that are not currently full. To manually add spin blocks, all you have to do is highlight an unspun word or phrase and then come across and click the manual spin button. This then allows you to add your own variations. Each time you add an additional spin block to an article, you do increase its uniqueness. Now a common place to use the manual spin option is when you are dealing with the headlines of your article. You may recall that one of the submission criteria is that your article has three different headlines. So what I can do is highlight the headline of this article and then click the manual spin button and now I can add two headline variations. So there we go, my article now has three unique headlines. Now the final important spinning concept that I'd like to clarify is how this single spun article can generate thousands of unique articles for distribution. When we submit this spun article to the syndication networks, they mix and match the variations in each spin block to create thousands of unique variations of your article. For example, Let's take a closer look at a single sentence to get an idea of how this works. If a sentence contains two spin blocks, each containing three spins, it is possible to generate nine unique versions of that sentence. 
When you extend this out to an entire article containing a large number of spin blocks, you can begin to see how the syndication services generate thousands of unique articles for distribution across their networks. So let's just recap the main points that we've covered in this video. First, we saw that you should always save a copy of your original article before you spin it. Next, we clarified that these spin shortcut keys give you a quick way to view the different variations contained in all of your spin blocks. We then looked at manually spinning text and saw how this can be used to create multiple headlines. And finally, we discussed how the syndication networks generate thousands of unique versions of your article from a single submission.